Hello everyone, welcome to Downtown Tailoring. In today's video, we have a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to shorten a jeans, keeping the original hem, the Euro hem version. I had another video about it, but it's a little bit too noisy, so I wanted to do it clean and nice. So let's go! If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. These are the jeans that need to be shortened, and a Euro hem is a great idea although you could do as well an American hem, as the fabric is a little bit stretchy. The first thing I need to do is to mark with the chalk the desired length. I always use double pin when I fold them because it's fast and secure. I'm gonna remove my pins and I'm gonna place my pants on the table folded on the center crease and on the back creases and I'm making sure to stretch them in a natural way just to make sure that both legs will be exactly the same length and making sure as well that all the side seams are in the same place. Now I'm gonna mark a line on the desired length and this time I'm gonna make my hems straight. So if you wanna make your hem straight, you have to make sure that your lines are perpendicular to the center lines. In this case, for example, this hem is a little bit slanted at the back. A lot of people prefer it that way, but some prefer it slanted at the front. So you decide what to do. Then I will cut my pants on the lines I mark and right away I make sure to secure each hem with its correspondent leg. That way I don't mix them up and I will start to open. My preferred one is to hold the hem with my body, with the table, so I can stretch it out and then I open it with my blade. Of course, when you go to the side seam, you just go a little bit slower until you have everything. After my hem is open, I will try to clean all the little thread and I will take a little bit to choose the right thread when I finish. Spoiler alert! I lost it. Now that I have my hem clean and open, I'm gonna cut the excess of material. I'm gonna leave around one quarter inch to three eight, depends on how easier it is for you to sew. I leave three eight of the inch, which is around one centimeter, because for me it's a little bit easier that way. Then you go to your second hem and you do the same. When both are open, I'm going to my sewing machine and I'm going to turn my pants inside out because it will be easier for me to work that way. And if you want to achieve the best result, this is what you need to take in count. First, you have to identify the mark where the original stitch of the hem was. And second, you have to confirm that the width of the hem is exactly the same as the width of your pants. Sometimes pants are boot cut or pencil. So when you cut, the change varies. In my case, I need to reduce the width of the hem so it can coincide with the width of my pants. And when I do it, I make sure as well that all the horizontal line are aligned, you see? Because that way it will look more natural. If you want to know how to make the American hem, you can watch the following video. I'm going to start to sew the hem, but because we have so many layers of material, what I'm going to do is to put pins all around the sides, and then I'm going to go and drop my needle, and then I'm going to do small stitch just to make sure that this side is aligned and here you go it is all good and i'm gonna do the same thing at the other side so i'm gonna line the sides of the hem with the side of the pants and then i'm gonna stitch a little bit and this one as well is good you see so now that i have that let's say based I can safely sew all the hem around and I'm gonna make sure to identify my original stitch because I'm gonna sew at 116 distance of this stitch. 
that way I make sure that when I fold it, I will have just, just enough material for folding and then I'm gonna just stop stitch right there. So now I'm gonna find my good thread and I lost the piece of thread. So now it's a little bit more tricky to find it, but I think I found one that is the same and I kinda use it for cutting. Before cutting, I'm gonna try to reduce the amount of layers I have by cutting them out. You can just like carve this way, but I honestly am too coward to do it this way. I just did it today just to show you. <laughs> As well, you know, you use your hammer and that really helps. And then I'm going to start sewing. When I sew, I make sure to fold it everything very well. And don't forget the trick of the button. That really helps a lot too. When I'm sewing it, I'm making sure to well accommodate the material inside too. So when I sew and I stitch, I stitch at the top and at the bottom, more or less in the same way, you know? Don't have to do it perfect, but you know, that way will help you really a lot. And here you go. This is my hem. It looks great. Who would say that those pants has been shortened? Eh? And look inside, looks really the same. I still haven't done the other legs, so I can show you the before and after, and I love it. Please let me know in the comments if you find that the little extra effort to do the Euro hem is worth it, or if you just prefer just to do a regular hem. If you find this video useful, please give us a like, and don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, Bye!